my name is Jennifer and welcome to a vintage vanity. I am super excited for today's video because, well, there's a cat here as well as you guys. And also today I thought it would be a great idea with a Viva Las Vegas right around the corner, which if you haven't heard of Viva, which is the largest rockabilly festival in the world, I will go ahead and place a link in the description so you can check it out. With that around the corner, of course, that means it is crunch time for sewing and getting outfits ready for Viva. Now, I always shoot for the moon and I don't get everything done, and that is okay. So, I thought it would be kind of fun to pet my cat on film because she's so cute. Yes, she is. She's so cute. But also to share with you guys kind of what I planned for, for February, which we're kind of halfway into February, but that doesn't mean that we can't still do this. Um, <laughs> this cat tail is so long. So I'm going to go through my plans for February and then at the beginning of March we will go through what actually got done, how that turned out, what my challenges were, and also what I have planned for March to get ready, mainly for Viva. But I'm going to actually start things off with something that has nothing to do with Viva Las Vegas at all and that is McCall's M6819. This is a great cosplay outfit and I actually show, sewed up a version of this for the, <laughs> the Ren Fair last year which I'll place a picture on the screen on how that turned out and I absolutely loved it. But I'm going to be revisiting this pattern because um, we are attending C2E2 February 29th here in Chicago. So if you're in the area, come see me and say hi. But I'm actually going to be there on that Saturday uh, for work. And I'm super excited because we're doing a street team. Um, if you don't know, I work for a a glue gun and adhesives manufacturer and we're going to be going as cosplay repair stations one of me and my co-workers so not only are we doing this great jetpack build but I'm also going to be showing sewing up these retro futuristic so much cat butt in this video um a space girl outfits and I'm going to be using the vest on this for the top and I'm super excited about that so not only will I be making that for me but also for my co-worker I'm not too worried about the sew for this because it was pretty easy the first time around the change that I'm going to make though is when I made the collar which is this great like high stand-up collar is that it was too close to the face. So I'm going to be changing that up and putting some wire in it so I can actually pull it away from the face a little bit more. And we're going to go with like a white and silver kind of motif. And I'm also going to be um, changing up a little bit how it attaches, like the front attached, the, the way it connects in the front. So um that is going to be a pretty easy sew. The only thing that I think might be a challenge is fitting my co-worker because uh, do you think I could find the measurements that I took for her? <laughs> no, I don't know where that went. So um, that I'm supposed to have done by tomorrow and um, that's probably not going to happen, at least the mock-up because I want to do a muslin for her. You... Do you think they came just to see you? Do you think they came just to see you? They probably did. You're right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. The next outfit I'm going to be sewing is actually the Butterick B6318. And I'm going to be doing the version with the contrasting waistband. I'm super excited about this. I've actually already started the sew. Honestly, you guys, I have no idea if any of this video is going to make sense. Because right now, it's like... The cat is chewing on my fingers. Well, now he's he's trying to climb the lights. Um, there's cat hair flying everywhere. I've got one eye that it feels like something's in, and it's felt like that all morning. My moo moo is completely full on static, so it's like clinging to every part of my body, and I'm sweating at my hairline. I am <laughs> such a mess right now, but I feel like this is this is my life at the moment so it's either like this video gets a little bit weird and very not planned out or professional or it doesn't get made at all so we're going to stick with the extreme reality that is this video all right <laughs> with that said this is 
I think one of the easiest dresses if you are going to start going from like I learned a couple basics and now I want to jump in and sew a dress this is a great version to do that on because of the fact that they are dolman sleeves so there's no like set in sleeve it's all one piece which makes it um, a lot easier if you have to do any fit changes I did do a muslin of the top because it did somebody did say they had sewn it up and it was a little bit tight in the sleeves so I want to make sure I did a muslin of this even though it was that easy and I did I added some room on the sleeves and right at the waist just to make it a little bit more of a comfy fit and the other thing that I did is this has like a really high boat neck and it was too high so I actually took about two inches out of the neckline and this is a really easy pattern to kind of make those changes and play around with so if you're looking for a sewing pattern to start sewing clothes I highly recommend this and I do have how much do we love this print isn't that great uh, and I'm gonna do the contrast in this uh, dark coral color so I think it's gonna be super duper pretty super excited for it I just have to buy the contrast fabric so I can finish the rest of it I would say is probably about 80% made so the rest of this is going to be a really quick sew up which I'm super excited about and in further developments of this video really doesn't want to get made the uh, camera shut off on me at some point so I have no idea where I left off so let's just pick it up at this one, uh, this is Simplicity's 8645. It is a 1950s reproduction pattern, and I'm going to be making version C for Viva. I'm super excited about this. It's going to be a really cute print. I'm actually considering using this amazing Disney Villains print that I've had for quite a while, and I feel like I don't have enough to quite do anything with but it might look really cute with this and it would look really cute with a corresponding skirt the only thing is I don't know if the print is too large so you're not gonna see enough of the print I just I love this fabric and this print so much that I want to do something that is gonna be really cool and I feel like the collar on this is so like fun and dramatic that it could really like play off of the print drama if that makes sense and then I would do like a contrasting collar and then a skirt that kind of matches the color of um, the print let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you think this is the right print for it or do you think I should go with something else or something a little bit more normal I don't know let me know um, the one thing about this I am nervous about is um, I know already that I have to adjust fit on this um, so I'm going to add it in before I do the muslin and the other thing is there's buttons all down the back of this and I just I don't know if I want to do buttons I don't know if I should stay traditional to the pattern or if I should just put a zipper in mm, I don't know I don't know let me know what you think in the comment section below because you guys, actually, I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to put a poll up on the screen. Let me know if you think I should do buttons or zipper. And whatever you guys say is what I'm going to do. Because I can't make decisions in my life anymore. <laughs> okay. The other thing that I want to work on is a design that I sketched up for um, what will be my Saturday night outfit. And forgive me, I cannot draw to save my life. But um, this is the essential design. It's kind of a um, jumpsuit, but it's going to be uh, three pieces. And um, it'll be the pants, the bustier, and then a sheer overlay skirt on top of it. And I kind of want this to all be galaxy themed. So I figured the best pattern to actually do this with would be uh, Gertie's Charm Patterns uh, Jane Jumpsuit. Um, I have already done the pants. I will put up a picture on the screen. The pants that I did for this outfit last year at Vivo were using the Jane pattern. So I'm just going to try those pants on again just to kind of see, make sure that it fits before I remake these just because uh, my weight has fluctuated a little bit over the past couple months um, to say that it's been insane is an understatement so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna use the uh, bustier as the pattern for that as well but hmm 
um, a little bit nervous about the time it's going to take me to do the top just because it's a lot. It's a lot of pieces and there's not much time. Um, so right now for this month, I'm just concentrating on the pants because I do have a very cute, a black top that I could potentially use if things don't work out. So I'm going to concentrate on the pants for right now and finding the very perfect fabric for the sheer overlay. And I will place a picture on the screen for the fabric that I found so far that I actually really, really like. And I think might be in the running. I'm just trying to decide if I should kind of go black for the base for the pants and top or if I should go with like a play on um, purple um, or pink even like the galaxy colors. So let me know. I'm going to do another poll. <laughs> There's the poll. Let me know if I should go more with purple, pink or black. I think I can do three questions. If I can't, there will only be two choices up there. Can't I can't think if I've ever done a poll. So that's what I have planned for the next three weeks, which is a lot, especially considering even though those are three full weekends, um, two of those are completely, completely planned out. Um, so <laughs> yeah, there's that. Um, the other thing that I want to get done this month is finishing my very first knit Rita. Um, I've done a bunch of the Ritas before. I absolutely love them. It's one, this is what I love about doing patterns that you love. Once the pattern is done, especially if you're like me and you have to make a lot of changes to your patterns, once the pattern's done, it's a really easy sew. Um, and then this one, because it's a knit, doesn't have any zippers or anything. And it's this really cute Jack Skellington black and white print that I picked up over um, Halloween. So all I have to do is do uh, the gathering at the neck and the sleeves and hem the bottom. That's it. I want to get it done. It's been sitting in my sewing area for a while and it needs to be done. As you guys have probably noticed, my upload schedule is crazy and it's all over the place. I do have a tea time coming up in the next couple days that is going to catch you guys up on everything that's been going on. Um, to say my life has been difficult lately is an understatement and I'm also um, in the midst of starting to prepare moving and everything else. So there's, uh, uh the, so needless to say, things are going to be a little bit weird, but I really want to get content out on a weekly basis. And I've got some really good collabs coming up in the next couple of weeks with probably some of the most patient and wonderful people in the world. So there's so much good stuff coming up. But make sure that you're subscribed, but also make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that goes up because I can't, I, I'm like, I can't guarantee it's going to be a Sunday again. <laughs> As always, I love hearing from you guys. So go ahead in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Which project are you most excited for? Which one are you most nervous for? I <laughs> should almost have a poll of like, how much is Jen actually going to get done this month? <laughs> Also, let me know if you're planning on heading to Viva Las Vegas because my favorite thing to do at Viva is give out a bunch of hugs. So if you are going, make sure that you claim yours. And as well, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And before I let you go, I want to say a huge subscriber shout out to Miss Margaret. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and liking these videos and just generally being a part of our cozy little online community. Thank you. And of course, if you are gonna miss me between uploads, make sure you follow me on all the social media as a vintage vanity. If you want to subscribe to this channel, make sure you click on my face. If you'd like to just keep watching videos, go ahead and check out that video you see playing right there. And of course, if you'd like to shop my clothing line, which is having a 50% off sale, make sure you click on that boomerang. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.